What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada as I do Monday through Friday bring you junk journal content and videos. I hope everybody is doing good today. Hello, hello. I am here uh, doing part two of my single signature junk journals that I started on yesterday or no, the day before. The day before. What's up, Jen? How are you? And um, so here we are. I am um, on day part two, and we are going to be picking out the pages for the signatures and hopefully getting them folded in half and get ready um, for whenever I get my sewing machine. I don't know when I'm going to get my sewing machine. They said a day, and then they didn't say anything. <laughs> so I'll have to call them on Monday and see where they're at. Um, Tanya, hi Tanya. I saw your choice to draw. I will get them to you when I'm done with this live here. Um, okay, so so far, normally I like to put 13 pages in a junk journal signature. So that's going to be the same here. So far, I have that I'm going to put four line journal pages, then I'm going to put two book pages, I believe. This could change, but for now, that's what I have written down that I just write down. So it's official. I like to keep track of how many I'm at. So um, I'm doing nine junk journals. So, okay, I'll need nine of each of these. And I like to cut my pages down to eight by 10. Um, since my cover is an eight and a half by 11 sheet, it gives me a little bit of a margin. And um, I like that. And whenever I'm making a large amount of journals, nine is not that large amount of a journal, but for me it is right now for the, the many that I've done this year anyways. And so I like to uh, make them all the same. So I'll have all the same pages, almost in the same order. And I have a lot of the same type of uh, embellishments, so I'll, make, I'll kind of decorate them all the same. Obviously, I don't have everything exactly the same, so they'll never be an exact copy of each other. But it just kind of makes the whole process a little bit easier. And so that's what I'll do with these as well. So I'm getting nine pages of each kind of like line book page. Um, this I love this page right here. This is from the dollar store. It's like that children's elementary school paper and I with the lines and I love this paper for the journals and then I have your standard just you know notebook three ring whole notebook page paper so we'll put that off to the side we'll cut them in a minute so there's that so we're gonna put this away because we got enough of that I, I found this um paper at the thrift shop it's just like, uh, it's probably like invitation paper or something, but I like to just put it in my signature. It has like music sheet, graphics in the back, and then this kind of like half opacity square so that you can write something. So I've been really liking putting these in my signatures. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this are kind of my lines paper, even though there's no lines. <laughs> no, there's no lines. And then I like graph paper. Love, love me some just regular old craft uh, graph paper. Love, love, love graph paper. Let's see, so there's four. Um, here's eight and nine. So there's nine. Okay. Okay, and then I said I wanted, oh, I want this book paper. Because I love, it. this is like an encyclopedia, kind of. Ugh, of course. I don't want that to happen. Oh, hang on. i got to take off this crusty little, crusty little spine part. It has to come off. And I believe they will just come off together. This is what's holding them. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
of crusties of okay you should design something like it like what oh like that paper yeah i i end up doing that whenever i run out of stuff <laughs> I run. I end up designing my own because I hate running out of it, and there's no possible way I can find that paper. I'm sure I can look it up, but it'll be fun to have it in different designs and stuff. Okay, so I need nine of these. Kind of cold, kind of boring flowers. So there's four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And I wanted to put music sheet paper. So I thought that would be neat. For some reason, this is the hard Darla, hi Darla. For some reason, this is the hardest part for me to treat it like I'm going to be judged by the almighty Trumpernal judges. <laughs> well, it's just whatever, you know, the junk journals, whatever you like. So you see what other people do like, and then you pick what you like, and that's, that's it. There's no other rule. There's nobody else to satisfy here except your own eye. Why I like junk journaling because it's not, I don't take it that seriously. Like I said, you see what other people do? I mean, if you like something different, you do something different. Okay, here's mine. Okay, so there's nine of these. Nine of all of these. And I don't need these. Okay, so one second, let me just put them away, off to the side, I should say, not really put them away, even though I should. Okay, so there's that. Oh, you know what I need? I need treat bags. Yes, and I need boilies. Yes, let me get that tray. This is one of my goodie boxes here. Um, so... To my list here, I'm going to write one paper bag. And then I don't really count the doilies. That's a terrible habit, but I don't count them. So, I need nine paper bags. I don't know how many of each kind I have. I got all these off of Amazon. I might have the lists if anybody's interested. I love these. The only one I wasn't happy from this haul was this one. This is just too tiny, but that's the only one that just printed in size. <laughs> this teal kind. So how many do I have? I think I only have five different styles of paper bags. Okay, so seven will be doubled. I love this newspaper print one. This is the best. Do I have the links to these? Somewhere I do. Somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Because I know I will get asked and I know I have a link. Okay, so here are the links for my paper bags. If anybody wants to check these out, there is the craft. That's the link for this one, this newspaper print on. Here is the link for this silver one. And these are perfect size for signatures. Here is the size, the link for the teal bag, which I really like. Here is the link for the red polka dot, which I love this red polka dot. It's good for so many themes for Christmas, Valentine's Day, just any regular old junk journal. I love that too. Uh, blue, which is 
was supposed to be Chevron, but it never came out to be Chevron. It was just this. Right? Yeah, that was a different one. Yeah. I never got the link for this blue one. It says blue Chevron. But it's just a regular plaid. Patricia! Hi, Patricia! Um, yeah. Okay, so that's the links to those. Okay, so I need, um, I have, need nine. I definitely want another one of the red puppet out ones because those are so cute. Oh, two, four. Let me get another teal one. So two, four, six, seven, eight, and I guess I'll do another blue, uh, do another silver one. Okay. So there's nine bags. Okay, and then I need doilies because I like to put doilies in the signatures. I have this really cute set of small doilies. It was a colorful doily set. Mini round, colorful paper lace doilies if you want to check those out. There's a link. Then I have this set of um, white doilies that came in several different sizes. And if you want to check those out, they are here because I'm going to add. Uh, they have this big doily, which I love. I like to add about three doilies per signature. So let me make sure I pick up nine of these. Make sure it's both doubles. These are pretty nice and thick, actually. Or they're deceiving, and it's two of them. I can't tell. Okay. Hope everybody had a good day today and had a good week. I have been busy in my store all day, changing things up. I have been changing things up for a while now, but I need to adjust. I need to adjust to Etsy. <laughs> need to make an adjustment there. So I've been busy with that. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, so nine big doilies, one of these for signature, and I want two colorful doilies for signature. Are the doilies not available? See, you see, that's why I always buy two. When it's things that I always feel like these are gonna run out, I buy two. Sorry if they're not available, you guys. I always get so nervous. It's ridiculous that I don't need to be nervous, but I always get nervous <laughs> that I'm something's gonna run out or yeah, I always buy two. It's, if it's that good, because these were that good. I, I've been telling you, I've been telling you, Miss Jen, about these. So that's another thing. If you miss it, sometimes you miss it. I feel like I feel like Amazon is usually usually it's reliable with having things in stock all the time. But just that one time when you really want something, it happens. And it'll happen to you. <laughs> Let's see. I need... Came with the red ones, the purple ones, the yellow, the pink, the light blue, the green. I love this set. So definitely check on it later. It'll, it might come back in stock. Things happen. They come back in stock. So I need three, per, uh, two per signature. So I need a I can't like physically understand in my head what how many that is of signatures. So that is three, five signatures. Okay, I'm always a little slow. Let's see. I'm gonna put doily here because I have those fun doilies still. 
I love these polka dot doilies. I wish they weren't so expensive. I did buy a pack of these red polka dot doilies. These uh, polka dot doilies are from Doodlebug. And it's just so rare for them to be at a good price. <laughs> so I rarely use them. Uh, let's see. We'll trade this red one for this red one. One, so okay, three, six, seven. Okay, we're at seven. I'm going to use another one of the red ones. Yeah, I am doing one signature. So I got um, three doilies per signature. Uh, and I'm gathering it for nine signatures. What's up, Monique? Oh, Terry. Hi, Terry. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this will be nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Put these all back in this bag. And then this can go back. I am done with toilets and bags. That's what this. This whole thing here is doily and bag. See, I have even extra gen. <laughs> this is how much of a hoarder I am. I have this. It's the one set that I have. Because this was a pack of 600, you guys. This was such a good deal. If you passed up on it, I'm sorry. I hope it comes back on stock. Um, but I bought two because I'm a psycho like that. I am. <laughs> and you should see how sad I am when I actually run out of them. I am so sad because it does happen eventually. And by then, I'm so sad because I'm so used to having them for, like, every product. <laughs> okay, let me put this away. Okay, so next, I need um, journal pages. So, hang on, let me, let me do a little math here. We're at seven, and I need 13 pages. So, um... JJ Pages and then Ephemera. Ephemera. Um, so I'm at seven. I am at seven pages so far that I know that I need to do. So that's six pages. So I can put four journal pages and two ephemera pages per signature. Let me look at my stack of printables. I have way too much stuff that I print out. Uh, let me see what I can find because I need it to be by 10. But chances are I'll find something. Hang on, this is stock number one that I can go through. And I believe this is already eight by 10. I believe. Let me see here. Yeah, so these are 8x10 already. Great. So I need two of these per signature. So I, I always print out whatever I work on. So I'm going to print out two of these. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-four but sometimes I'll just print them on a regular size. Um, let's see, I don't know if I want that one. Okay, so we are at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, wait, um, See if I can do nine. If I can do nine, and then I can do nine of something else because I know I have other stuff printed out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so there's 
one of the ephemera pages. Let's see what else I have that's not this particular stuff here. I have these, but these are not 8 by 10. Um, I'm looking for stuff that's 8 by 10. This one is technically 8 by 10. It's not printed on the back, though. Neither are these. Sometimes I'll print them on the back of scrap of paper, like this right here. This is not 8 by 10, but I think I could chop it at the bottom. So I'll count that as ephemera, not a journal page, because you can't really write on it. Uh, I do have all of these. They're not printed on the back, though. This one is. I could probably make this 8 by 10. So there's something on the back. Let's see where else we are. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need a doily page. Hello. This is where I get in trouble. Because <laughs> there's so much I want to put in each page. And it's, like, impossible. It's just impossible to fit everything I want. So, that in mind, now that I remember that I need to put a, uh, need to put a vintage handkerchief printable, I'm starting to look at these like, huh, I think that's, I need journal pages now. These are all just Birds and flowers, same as those over there. Here are my handkerchiefs. Actually, right here. These are not printed on the back. So I think I have a set that is printed on the back, like this one right here. And this one as well. I have other ones too, already cut up for me and everything. Um, add an extra one? Yeah, I wish. Then it starts, my, that's when I get in trouble with my sewing machine when I start adding, when I start adding pages after I, I go over 13. <clears throat> my sewing machine tells me to stop. Hi, Cheryl. Hang on, I'm trying to. I know I have other stuff. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I literally have mountains and mountains of principles all over me, which I need to organize or do something with. Oh, here's some stuff I have. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, I had an avalanche. <laughs> I had an avalanche, which almost went really bad. Because I have cups of coffee. <laughs> Trying to get some stuff here. Hang on, hang on. This might be what I want. This might be the pile that I want. This might be it right here. Let's just wipe paper. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is what I wanted right here. It's not printed on the back, though. Some of them are. Ooh, some of them are. Yay. These are some of my scrap of paper designs. All right. I'm excited. There are the purple ones. Whatever. It's all good. Do you have any ones? It's just the purple ones. Okay. I can live with that. So there's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine.
As long as the crash is okay, well, my com I was questioning if my computer was going to be okay in the printer. <laughs> but, oh my God, that was a little scary there for a second. For one second, for one second, I almost thought I should clean, but then it all went, then those feelings went away. Okay, so I think. I said four drunk journal pages. So then I'm still missing. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to put three. And then I need the uh, hanky. Hanky uh, page. Hi, Marty. How are you? Okay, so this is okay. So here's one journal page then. All right, hang on, let me go get my pile again. Um, but I do also have, where's my hanky pages? Hanky, hanky, I'm Where's the hanky pages? Oh, here they are. Okay, so. You can um, check out my printables. These are all my printables that I've been pulling out here. Right here. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, we're off. So, I don't know why my account says there's only one person here. Maybe that's true. I don't know. Okay, so Hinky. And I have these printed on the inside of scrap of paper. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so there are nine hankies. So we got uh, so far one journal page, one hanky. Um, and this is one ephemera so far. Okay, let me go back to my pile because I thought I had more than I did. So luckily I don't, so that's good. So I need to get two more journal pages and one more ephemera page. Okay, let me go back to my stash here. Okay. Okay, back to my stash and see what we got again. I always like to do this. I always like to make a little game, game plan. Because like I said, I only have 13 pages, so I have to kind of disperse that amongst all the stuff I want to add to my journals. So, let's see, I already added all those purple pages. I could run my stuff through the printer right quick quick and add lined paper to the back of stuff that needs to be printed on the back of. Oh, I never put those out. I forgot about those. Let's see. This is Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff. These are blue here. I could think about running these through the printer on the back of just printing some like lined pages or something. I don't need to these anymore. I mean, I hate to use that. Let's see, we got this. And I do have three of the pages already. So we can add those three. We could. I'm trying to add the ones that are printed on the back of. Some of these are not. These are all not. Cataract surgery in June. 
Uh oh. I would be nervous too, but I'm sure you will be all right. You will be in safe good hands. There's this one for ephemera, technically. It is printed on the back. That off to the side is a maybe. Is a page of sorts. There's another page of sorts. He's got something on the back of it. This one looks good to go. One, two, three. Seven, eight, ten. Some of them are already figured out. Or eight, nine, I should say, not eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Sometimes I end up with too many. Okay, so here's um, one, two, three, one, two. Three piles of, so I need two more piles of printed pages. These birds are real cute and they're printed on the back of one, two, three. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. So we need another nine pages of something. And that's it for the whole journal. And that is it. You haven't made a uh, journal, Cheryl? They're fun. They're fun. You know, they're fun. I made one or two, you know, in my day. In my day. <laughs> I wish I had printed these 8 by 10. Oh my gosh, Cheryl, that censored you. That's funny. <laughs> well, it's fun. And mistakes will be made, but it's okay. It's all fun. <laughs> as long as you're having fun, it's all that matters. Don't forget that. <laughs> Because mistakes will be made. I have a handful of journals that I mess up on. But they were all fun. <laughs> they were all certainly real fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm journal covered and paired. The rest I got down. Marty. Three. Four piles of journal pages printed. I need one more pile. I just need one more little pile. Hang on. Oh, what other journal pages do I have laying around somewhere? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Here's some stuff.
what's in here? And then I have another pile somewhere else. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here are these, but they're not printed on the back. This one is, though. That one's got a scrap of paper on the back. What is it? I don't even know what this is. Is this all Christmas stuff? What's in here? Oh, my, um... The purple journal pages, but they're not printed on the back either. My florid fancy journal pages. Which is not bad to have blank pages. It's fine. I just, just don't want to. I just want them double side printed. Because I know I have them. I know. Oh, here they are. Oh, is this them? Because I swear. Yes, well. One more page, and then these ones I you know cut out. And what is this? Who another one? All right, <laughs> I got three out of nine. Three out of nine pages that I need. <laughs> oh, here's I think here's another one. But these are not double sided printed. So, uh, let's see. Um, there's three, four, seven. I need to print on two of them so far. So that's not the worst. I literally just have piles of printed stuff. Just piles and piles of stuff. It's like I said, I print out everything that I design. It's a crazy addiction of mine. So I end up with a bunch of stuff because I design a lot. Okay. Okay, we are getting there. So I don't can save my printer some ink. All I have to do is look through a million pages. <laughs> okay, I think I have a pile of stuff over here. Oh my god, I need it all Christmas though. Oh my god, I have so many Christmas things printed out. Um what else is in here? Christmas, Christmas, more Christmas, more Christmas, it's all Christmas. Okay. The rest of the stuff seems to be Christmas. Okay, can we use that? All right, so here's what we're going to have to do. We are going to have to print on the back of these. I think I was how many shy? Three, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These will just have to have these ones. Okay, let me print out some lined paper on the back of these. So I can have something. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, so there's oh no, there's not nine. Looks like there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's only six. Okay. Love these in my printer. Let me put these other pages away. Oh my goodness. like tripping on stuff. <coughs> tripping on stuff, running out of breath. Oh my god, I am a mess. I am a mess. Of course, my, my room is almost like a maze right now with my light set up and everything. Okay, so let me see about printing out some pages. Um... Should be new pages. Is it 52 or is it 62? Um, no, it's 52. There it is. 52. So I need six pages printed. So let's print these right here. And that'll be it. That's all the pages that I need. Okay, let me put this 
There's a bunch of stuff somewhere away from me. I need to go through this stuff. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Okay. So now. That's what I have. That's what I have to do today. Today I'm just picking everything out, um, and then tomorrow, what I can do is I can start cutting stuff till the hour is out, and then we'll come back on Monday and see what else there is to do. I was going to say I'm done for today, but still time left. <laughs> There's still 20 minutes left, so I can... Do a little bit more work. Um, the other day, I kind of, I literally, I sprained my hand. You guys, starting my my feet. I strained my hand, sorting my beads out, and that's ridiculous. <laughs> so that's why I've been kind of taking it light on crafting because I am as fragile as can be, apparently. I'm just so dang. Fragile. <laughs> but I really want to sort my beads out again because I have all my glass beads sorted out, but I feel like I have too many beads out. And I can't really be having too many glass beads in each. Um, I do cut off the ends of the bag so that way they have someone open on the other side. Um, I can't add too much glass beads to each dangle because it'll make them too heavy. Like literally they get really heavy. And so what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put away about half of my bead, uh, my glass beads. I'm going to put them away and um, only have half. So half of what I have already sorted, I'm only, only going to keep out half of it. The other half I'll just put away, and whenever I start running out of beads, I'll just transfer them over. Because there's too many glass beads for me to look at, and I actually need access more to my, my uh, acrylic beads. Because I use mostly acrylic beads in, in these um, dangles. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes when you have too much stuff, it kind of hinders your creativity. And I kind of felt like that. I made two dangles already. And I kind of felt like <clears throat> I had too much stuff to pick from. It's an odd feeling, but <laughs> hang on, I started chewing up my bag. I don't know why, but it just felt like it had to. And we'll live. We'll live. It's a junk journal. It's fine. This paper, this paper cut is great for like thick paper. Sometimes for thin papers. I have to cut out like two of them at a time or start to chew on them oddly. Really weirdly. I should probably contact them about getting a replacement. They said lifetime guarantee, so I might have to talk to them about finally getting me a replacement. I've had this thing for years. For years I've had this thing for probably about uh I've been here for three years now, I think, and I was at the trailer for about a year and a half, so about four years ago. And, and uh, sometimes just with the thin paper, kind of choose it a little bit, but I love it. When I started out, I used a hammer and a nail. Oh my goodness, Patricia. Did it work out though? Did it work out though? That's the question. So I'm cutting down my pages to the 8 by 10. So that is hopefully by Monday I can get my sewing machine. I don't know what they're... This place that I take my sewing machine to, like, when, when I went in there to ask about it, they said they could get it done literally the same day. And I said, wow, okay. So I took it in the next morning. And here we are, three days later. No phone call. If I wasn't so dang patient, <laughs> I could have lost it, but you know what? It's okay. 
weeks. Okay, I think they're closed for the weekend, so I gotta call them on Monday. Fine. I'm not gonna bug you if it's not ready. It's not ready. What I don't like is that you tell me that it's gonna be ready or that you're working on it next. Don't lie to me. If you tell me it's not gonna be for another three days, okay, ma'am. No problem. No, no problem, sir. Three days, okay. Don't tell me, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it next. If you're not gonna work on it next, you know, like I have no issue waiting, but like, don't be telling me that you're looking at it right now, like. If you're clearly not, because here it is two days later and you have a problem. I highly doubt you've been working on my sewing machine for two days. <laughs> so, but I don't want to bug them. I don't want to bug them. So I'll call them on Monday. And I'll ask again. So <laughs> warranty job. I know how warranty job is literally nobody wants to do it because nobody's going to get paid for it. <laughs> I've worked at those jobs before where all the techs are like, ah, it's a warranty job because they're literally not going to get paid for it. So you know what? I'm not mad at you. It's fine. But just keep it real. Just tell me it's going to be a couple days. Okay. All right. It's like a really, really pit two weeks. <laughs> Daisy, go there and drop by and check on it. Okay, I'll do that on Monday, maybe. Maybe. When's the house gonna be up? Two weeks. <laughs> it's always two weeks. Well, if they said two weeks, I would have understood. Because honestly, when honestly, I didn't have high hopes when they said we can get it done that, that same day. I said it in my head. I'm like, oh yeah, right. Honestly, in my head, in my head, I said yeah. <laughs> like I already kind of expected it not to be done as fast as they said last time they said they'll do it right away I think they had it for like almost a month so I will go check on it on Monday if I can it's not the closest thing it's not the farthest thing but uh... Beverly hi Beverly I think my printing is done. Just cutting out all my pages here. We finally go to clothing next week. We are refinancing. Cool. <clears throat> Hang on, I need my pages before I forget. Before I forget, I'm just cutting out my um lined pages on these just so, to give them something on the back. Lucille's. Like here in Vegas, the seals? Because that is at the district. <clears throat> I've never been there. I just remember because I used to work. One of my first jobs, well, actually, was my, my first job ever was at a Panera Bread. And it was right there at the district, so that's where I had my first job, and I remember that's where the Lucille's was, but I never went in there. I don't even, I can't even remember what kind of food they serve. Saving 200 a month more craft money. There you go. I've been there to here in the district. <laughs> yeah, that was my first job ever. <laughs> that was my first and only <laughs> uh, food uh, food industry position type of work. I've never worked in the food industry again. Just traumatized. Just because I was a, I was a kid. 
was a kid. I didn't eat. I didn't learn how. I didn't know how to work. It was a lot of work. And so I quit because I was I'm a little brat. <laughs> I worked there for like, what do I think? I worked there for like a month. <laughs> Month. Daisy, can I see the other side of the papers when I print out and never line up? Okay. Uh, yeah, these uh these line up perfectly. I print them both out at eight by ten, and it prints them out at the same in the same spot, in the same exact spot. Well, these ones have lined pages, but um. Like these ones, these ones right here. Yeah, these ones line up perfectly. I just print them both out at eight by ten. And they always line up. And of course, not all journal pages are designed at eight by ten. All right, eight and a half by eleven, Beverly. You have to keep that in mind too. Even I have some journal kits that don't have pages that are even half by eleven, so they they will never print out the same. But both of these pages here were designed at eight and a half by eleven. And like, oh look, even this little smidge right here at the top didn't line up. Eh. So, oh, other than that, they lined up pretty good. Just this little smidgen didn't line up. But yeah, both of these are eight and a half by eleven, and so I printed both them out at eight by two. But also, like I said, make sure you're just trying to do both eight and a half by eleven, otherwise it's not gonna work out. Food service is hard. Food service is so hard. I never like to give anybody any sort of trouble because oh my god. Do I want to go back there and do it? No, I don't. So you know what? I will. I will. I will wait for you because I am not about to go do it. So I'm not even. I'm not even tripping. Take your time. <laughs> My printer, when it prints the borders different, one is thick, and then one is thin. Huh. It's interesting. Um, you know, there is, there's, I don't know if it's the same for you, but I do have this one little box I have to tick that's like, uh, let's see. when I go to print, there's this box that says fit picture to frame. And if I don't click that, it's a different size than when I do click that. So I don't know if you have the same with that. Just a little smidgen. And at the bottom, at the bottom, they're not the same page, the same size. Look, it's just by a sliver, though, that they're not the same page, same size. Now we're good. These are fun. I love these. I have, um, these are for my shop. These are the vintage um, ephemera. Seed uh, printables, and then on the back is some of my botanical images. Right. So hopefully on Monday. I don't know what the problem is also my husband goes to work and he works kind of far so and he kind of works the hours that the sewing machine place is open <laughs> like they're only open to five and he has been working the same hours that they've been open basically so i don't want to bug them and say is it ready is it ready is it ready and then i can't even go pick it up either so 
That's why I'm the reason why I haven't even called them. Because my husband has been working the same exact hours that they are open. And I can't exactly go drop him off because it's just, it's not, he's not working anywhere nearby. I might have to if they say it's ready, though. I might have to. If they say it's ready, I'm going to go get it, I guess. But I'm not going to, like, bug them, you know. I could, though. I could. Uh, who's going to bed? Cheryl. Bye, Cheryl. Good night. I'll definitely have to drop them off if they say it's ready. I'm not waiting until. <laughs> and then they're closed on the weekend. So it's just like, ah, you guys <laughs> are making it a little difficult for me to pick up my sewing machine because you guys literally, I work at the same time as my husband. And you're closed at the same time my husband is off on the weekends. It's just ugh, frustrating. Frustrating a little bit, just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny a little bit. You guys. This is good. This is good. You need two, but like I need two cars, you mean? Or I need to go drop them off to pick up my sewing machine. <laughs> Don't tempt me, Beverly. <laughs> Two machines that would have been convenient. <laughs> that would have been real convenient. Yeah, do I need two cars? Yes, I do. You're right, Beverly. I absolutely. I will go buy one right now. Thank you for saying. Thank you for saying. Thank you for agreeing with me. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Marty, you have three sewing machines or three cars? <laughs> oh, I just never, my sewing machine always worked, so I never, you know, thought about getting a second one. But gosh, when these people get a hold of my machine to service it, it is so gone about a month. It is gone for about a full month. And I hate it. I hate it. But since strength journaling is the only thing that I really do, maybe if I worked on like um, clothes or, you know, fabric and stuff, I'd get two of them. But I don't. Cars are too expensive right now, especially the dang gas. I know. That's why I'm not even, that's what I'm saying. Like, I am not going to go drop them off. If I don't have to. If I, but I guess if I have to, I will that one time. Because I'm, I'm barely even leaving my house right now. Because of how expensive gas is. My husband goes to work and comes back and that's it. And I go to my friend's house on the weekend and that's it. It is too much out here. I have one for fabric, one for paper, and other crafts older, and a little bitty machine. <laughs> she is like, I'm not going to be caught without a sewing machine. <laughs> Marty's motto is not without my sewing machine. <laughs> my goodness, ground beef was $7.99 uh, for $80.20. I paid, oh my gosh. When we had the party for my parents, uh, the carne asado, I think, was $12 per pound. $12 per pound. Was it more? Was it more than $12? Was it because I think I paid, no, it was like $12 per pound. I ended up buying like five pounds. Woo! I was like, woo! All 
right, you guys. I'm going to probably finish up this over the weekend. And then on Monday when we come back, hopefully I have my sewing machine or we'll have to do something else. <laughs> we'll have to do something else. You know what's weird is even using this cutting machine, my hands can get strained. So I've kind of learned I have to kind of separate, divide the work over the weekend and I'll get it done. But I'm going at a slower pace than normal, you guys. As, I don't know if you can tell. By this time last year, I had finished like 30 drum journals. <laughs> and this year, I have finished two. <laughs> So anyways, I know, I need, I know those dang beads, they, they're ruining my life. <laughs> I never thought I would get to the age where it's like, oh my God, I have hurt myself sorting beads, but here we are. Rob bought half a cow a year ago, so it hasn't been but otherwise, but we ran out of ground beef, so I have to go to store for that. It might be cheaper to buy a cow at this point. It might honestly be cheaper to buy a whole dang cow. <laughs> and whole price. <laughs> okay, you guys. I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you guys so much for spending uh, this little crafty hour here with me. Uh, I really appreciate the company, you guys. Thank you guys for giving me a little thumbs up for this. Uh, if you are in the market for drug journal printables, please go to my store. I'm putting out uh, new designs every other day. So please do check me out. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys so, so much, and I'll see y'all on Monday.